So everybody, Craig Hansen here. Check this out. How good is this? Rory McIlroy, the greatest driver of the golf ball on the planet. And yeah, arguably, some say the GOAT, the greatest driver of the golf ball of all time. He is five foot nine, 160 pounds and averaging at 320 yards off the tee. He can hit it both ways. He's the number one player in the world. And what's great about this video, guys, is we're going to take you through something here where he shows you and talks about what he actually works on. Now, before we get into the slow motion analyst and have a look at his swing and then at the end compare it to Tiger Woods in his prime, which is also fascinating, we're actually going to go through what he talks about and feels and works on in his swing. And uh, with him being the best driver of the golf ball in the world, it's probably a good idea if we listen and watch this. Right now, he talks about getting wide in the backswing. He talks about getting a stretch in his back and in his lats. He likes to get the uh, this part of his swing here, getting a nice stretch in his back and his lats, not reaching back too far, but really uh, loading up onto his right side and getting some pressure down into that right foot at the top of his swing. Now, the driver is the longest club that we have, the lightest, the fastest, the best drivers of the ball, the best drivers in the history of game, in the game have been wide and long and have loaded up onto the right side. And these are the exact things that McElroy is talking about, obviously being one of the best drivers of the golf ball of all time, if not the best. From the top of the swing, he talks about a lateral shift, a push, bumping back across. The first thing from the top that moves is this lateral shift. And in many of my videos and the videos on world-class golf instruction, continuously talking about this move from the top. And now the best player in the world is mentioning here in front of us. Guys, check out World Class Golf Instruction, the most detailed self-teaching platform in the world. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the button, hit the bell, uh, leave your questions and your comments below. And if you like the video, like the video, that helps me out a lot. So let's get a bit further into this as he talks about uh, moving across. Uh, he talks about getting this pressure into this right foot and that first initial move from the top really getting across and into that left side, getting some pressure down into that left foot, but really getting across. I actually like the way that he does that. That could actually be your drill here, guys. Once you've loaded up onto the right side, and getting that bump across and getting yourselves in a great position. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. So guys, this is where it gets interesting, looking at the inner workings of McElroy's swing, and we're gonna compare it to a couple of tour pros. We're gonna pick something up here for, to improve our own driving of the ball and uh, get to understand what uh, this, this great player, this great driver of the golf ball is actually doing. Now, one of the things that he does do that's different is I've just drawn a line here straight up from the side of the leg here resting against his head okay now you can do this with your own swing apps and your mobile phones that's at 78 degrees okay so he's really got this lead foot well out in front of him now we'll just go through a couple of players here and uh, we'll have a look at this we've got justin rose great driver of the golf ball and uh, we'll just see it's a bit of a different position here isn't it on that lead foot not as far forwards now i'm not suggesting that uh, one does it better than the other all i'm saying is that, you know it's worth looking at when we're looking at people that do things better than what we do okay now we'll go into tiger woods in his prime and we'll draw a line up here from the outside of the lead leg and also see that it's positioned not against the head and uh, very interesting looking at the, the shaft lean here obviously with great drivers of the ball they have hardly any shaft lean at all in their address position we know that mcelroy has close to 10 degrees of shaft lean with his iron play at times but with his driver standing in a completely different position and uh, the only one that i could find was adam scott now with adam we can draw a line up here got very very close around 80 degrees and obviously a great driver of the golf ball and a great great golf swing so interesting looking at uh, some of these numbers here and how mcelroy stands there now let's get into his swing and we're not going to go through every single thing but uh, we can get in there and have a look and, and see what's happening. We'll just get rid of that line there. And we'll pop a line here up the shaft. And it'll just give us a, a bit of an idea here of what's happening in his swing. Now, he's not a tall guy. Let's see the tall guys that can stand very straight here. We'll just play this through. And we'll just get a bit of a look and see what's happening. And keeps the club out in front and then drops it well in behind him. And we see the right arm there right behind him. Plenty of lag. Tilts the head. 
and hits it on the way up but well from the inside and uh, that's the that's the motion of the swing it gives a bit of an understanding of what's sort of happening but let's have a look at some of the uh, other moves in this swing now the takeaway and if you've watched some of my other videos this is uh, something that helps out so many players and club golfers and players around the world is getting this takeaway right now if we pop here a line up we'll see that the sole of this club really is pointing more up towards one o'clock and uh, from there we're going to get the the sweet spot of the club pointing down and also the middle of the right palm something that you guys can perhaps feel and visualize a little easier the right arm is very straight here it's a wide takeaway as he mentioned we can see that the right arm is is very very straight and very very long and as great drivers of the golf ball do they load up beautifully to the right wide swing and you know, it's obviously got it gets it up on a great plane, doesn't he? Splitting it through that right forearm there, we can see, and uh, that club has weight. Your arms have weight. It's great to get this club on a good plane. Keeps us in balance. Huge shoulder turn at the top. Now he has mentioned actually that he overturns his shoulders at times, and um, we know that he can get, or he has mentioned he gets a little bit underneath plane. Uh, looking at the club face position at the top, you know, great lines, same as the lead arm, and. Uh, great external rotation of that shoulder and keeping that triangle inside the body and then from positions like that you're not going to have much trouble from coming over the top or from the outside now it does get interesting in and around this area here i just want to zoom in here people and show you his feet all right because this is just insane on the way down you can see that the weight will move out to the outside of this trail foot here but he'll actually take a step over with the lead foot now don't try this at home people there's no way you're going to learn something like that but it's just interesting looking at how he uses the ground now say if you push into the ground it'll push back at you and uh, yeah really gripping and using the ground as leverage here and just some crazy moves going on with heaps of movement down and flex into that lead foot and then he'll hit and the feet will foot will spin and uh and squeezing back up and it's just got some unbelievable positions in there. Let's just zoom back and have a look at this downswing. There's a huge lateral shift. I'll just get rid of some of those lines there so it doesn't get too many. Just bear with me. And uh, I'm just popping a line here at the back where we were. Hang on a second. I just wanted to show you that foot position there. So I'll pop the line back up into here and we'll see the amount of lateral shift that he talked about this is the interesting thing once you've loaded up to the right there with your driver you've got to get yourselves back across and uh, we can see that mo motion and movement there how much lateral movement and movement down i mean the, the movement down is very hard for a lot of people but he does tilt the head on the side something that i think is very very interesting and plenty of angle plenty of lag and hitting that ball beautifully on the way up we know that it's about four degrees on the on the way up we can see this thing here hit on the way up and uh, through and into his Olympic style finish position with the body on the side the upper body bend and the neck tilt and squeezing those thighs together into perfect balance very very flexible one of the interesting areas here is looking at through the shot here is the hand position if I can just get in the right position here you can see that the right hands moved like into here and the left wrist is broken now guys if you can just get yourself into that position and sort of swing back from there and do a few practice swings you actually get the a similar hand and wrist motion to, to one of the great players uh, for a lot of people it's a very unusual feeling when they first start to do it we can see that the knees bend and then pull back up really aggressively in a short period of time and it really is uh, a very very unique swing when you get into it and have a look at the finer points let's have a bit of a look and compare this uh, swing to uh, Tiger Woods uh, in his prime or when he was driving the ball that the, you know, the best that he ever ever did we'll just see a couple of positions I think we'll find here are very interesting as well before we finish up and uh, it's just looking at you know the great players and what they do and the similarities is also extremely interesting so both players i mean tiger woods back then took it extremely wide i'm never quite sure why he changed that but uh we see 
McElroy not as wide, but also a very wide takeaway. Both having huge shoulder turns and uh, getting very similar up the top. Actually, both moving downwards, Tiger Woods more forwards as he's moving into the downswing, but both players in very, very similar position. Rory with a bit more lag and the head tilt turned onto the side and through the golf ball. We really do then start to see very, very similar positions. And uh, this is a great position with the hands rolling over and into that Olympic style finish position. Rory McIlroy, Tiger Woods driving the ball, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out World Class Golf Instruction and we'll see you next time.